in the 50s, but a great day here in the Santa Clarita Valley. How are we all doing today? The Hometown Morning Show with Tori and Kyle. Can't move, can you, huh? Your hometown station. 98.1 FM and AM 1220. 740 on your hometown station, KHDS. It's the Hometown Morning Show with Tori and Kyle. Make sure you go to hometownstation.com for all the latest and greatest Santa Clarita has to offer. Speaking of the greatest Santa Clarita has to offer, a very special guest in studio. Always good to have guests. In studio with us is Yesenia, who is a spiritual medium and has an event coming up on June 23rd. Welcome. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Okay, so just a little backstory here. Yesenia came in a little bit earlier before um, before her interview. And I'll, we're going to talk about the event. We're going to talk about where you can meet up with Yesenia and all, look at the website and all that kind of stuff. But she got here early because she wanted to walk around the studio. <laughs> um, I'm here. I get here before Kyle. Kyle comes in a couple minutes, usually 10 or 15 minutes later. But when I'm here alone, I hear some stuff and I kind of try to ignore it. Just move about my business. Um, we also have meetings upstairs in Carl's office sometimes. Carl Goldman is the owner. And sometimes there are some weird things that go on. Like, for example, um, one of our, our feature directors had her laptop. And all of a sudden, uh, you know where you slide in a disc on the side of the computer? It just kept going in and out. And her hands were up in the air. And we were just fascinated. Like, it just kept going in and out. Now, could it be a malfunction? Could there be something going on? Hmm. Uh, when it's never happened before, you know? And you just you just kind of stand back. Um, and also, uh, there used to be a, another employee here who used to hear uh, the sounds of cats. Uh, like, meowing. Or, like, you know, like, not meowing necessarily. But you know how they scream or they make those, yeah. you know, noises cats do. And of course, there are no cats here. So we've all had like these little teeny experiences and we just tuck them away and we go, whatever, let's just keep moving. I'm fine. <laughs> and so I said, Yesenia, you're coming in on Friday. Let's do a little walk through the studio. And that's exactly what she did. So yeah. let's welcome Yesenia and uh, ask her what she found. What did what, what'd you find? Tell me. Wow, very, very interesting. So you definitely have two portals in this building. Um, so I'm not surprised that you're feeling things or that things are happening. Up in Carl's office, a lot of family, um, family members up there just very curious. Uh, grandfather's father, grandfather, very, very strong sense of family upstairs just saying, I want to see what's happening up here and really part of the daily business. Mm -hmm. And so not so much heaviness up there other than just curious. This is like my family business and this is what I'm going to be doing. If you notice, things are starting to crack in here right now. I'm not sure if you're picking up on that, but um, they're like super, super excited. Um, I did feel a um, heavy heart, so uh, like heart problems, someone died of a heart attack in that room where it's like the re original part of this building. Um, and I also see a little girl that's walking around over there as well. So no bad, um, no bad energy. Um, there is an older couple that says this used to be our house and somehow they're connected to a jail. And they would say they, they would walk back and forth and that I really thought this building might have been a jail at one point. I don't know the history of this particular building. I don't know the history, um, but I do know that there was a jail or portions of a jail down the street next to Canyon Theater Guild. And actually Canyon Theater Guild owns what they call the white building and that used to be part of a jail. Okay. So okay. it's very close. It's it's like a block and a half down Main Street. Now I don't know whether this could have been like, you know, the sheriff's office at one point and that was the jail. I, I kinda don't know the history of this particular building. But you do say, um funny you should say you're stepping into a different portal because if you've ever been to the studio and if you're not, I'm gonna try and explain it real real simply, uh the front portion of the studio is kind of rebuilt and, you know, has nice drywall and all kind of stuff. When you walk through our kitchen then you're walking into an older section of the building that has not been redone like everything's kind of just how it was and you can kind of feel because even through the door jam you'll see where there should have been maybe a door or something so something else is it seems like a different portion of a building so that's where you're feeling that portal oh absolutely my hair was standing up i was getting chills all over i really didn't even want to go into that other side 
And you had asked me a couple of questions. You said, how, how are people here? Right. Um, and it's, it's what we call our web department. It's, um, it's, it's uh, mostly men who are in there who work on the websites. And uh, we have some interns sitting back there as well. And they're all pretty busy. But d you were asking me questions about, um, I, were you asking if they're, um, healthy or happy or what I'm, I forgot yes yes both okay um, are they happy what's their mood like because I could see their mood turning um, sad or agitated because of that residual energy in that in that room so I would definitely come back in and do some type of a just a, a cleansing a clearing um, it doesn't mean that anything bad's gonna happen to them it just it's kind of like cleaning house mm -hmm. and it's okay for the spirits to stay here that's fine um, it's just res residual they're, they're not here interacting or messing with anybody they're just going on with their daily lives like they would have a long time ago early 1900 period now Something very weird, you said, I'm not going in there. I have no desire to go in there. And you pointed to the men's bathroom. Now, I kind of chuckled because, listen to me, I have no desire to go in there either. But I think we have different reasons. Um, <laughs> because, you know, boys are messy and I'm not going in their bathroom. But you weren't going to go in the men's bathroom because of a different reason. What were you feeling? Um, I was feeling like I was getting beat up in there. Um, a lot of brutality in that little room. I did not even want to open that door. I was like, there is no way. So I wonder if that's, uh, uh, you know, in line with, uh, you know, this maybe being something attached to, you know, the, like you said, the prison or if maybe prisoners were being held at a certain point or there was, if this was kind of, I wish I knew the history of this building. I really, I really don't. <laughs> I, I know nothing about this building. Then you went into um, our, our production studio, which is where we do a lot of our work, especially um, you met Aaron in the afternoon. Yes. Aaron and I kind of, that's our, our place. We, we do you know commercials in there. We do interviews in there off air. Um, so we're in there a lot. And you had said... Oh, yes. So that's a different portal. That's the whole, like, you have Indians, you have a lot of cowboys and horses. Completely different than the horse that we talked about with you, not associated with you, but a completely different horse. Just, in fact, as I'm waiting here, I can see them looking at me saying, you're not going to close off our portal, are you? And I said, no, I'm not going to close it off. Just be nice. Um, don't take their energy from them. So you, if you walk out of that room, you're probably drained or tired. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if that's the case. I think Aaron and I are both exhausted when we leave here. Honestly, yeah. I'm not kidding. We have we have a lot, you know, we have a lot on our plate, and we're both on air, and we both do stuff off air. Um, and so by the time we leave, we are usually exhausted. But are, they're they're kind of pulling on us. Absolutely, absolutely. Are they going to chill out a little bit? They are. They will. They uh, will. Um, it's important for both you and Aaron to take some time, maybe step outside, get some sun for a little bit, re-energize. Mm -hmm. naturally right uh, with the sun and then come back in okay. okay and then you can also tell them if you're starting to feel that weight just say hey guys stop traveling through here we're just gonna close the road for like a, a day or whatever give us that time to just re-energize and then you guys can flow through or just don't come in as heavy excellent I'm going to take a quick break. We're talking to Yesenia right now, who has an amazing intimate event coming up at the Hyatt Regency later this month. We'll talk about that in a second. Can you hang out for just a bit? Absolutely. Let me just do traffic. Let me get everybody where they're supposed to be going. Beep, 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 beep. Go. 748, traffic on the 8s every 10 minutes right here on your hometown station, KHTS. So, uh, southbound 14, routine delays via Princessa as you're making your way down toward Placerita, but I am seeing it starting starting to lighten up just a bit. So hopefully in the next couple of reports, we might see a Friday light, fingers crossed. Southbound side of the 14 still, uh, southbound side of the five at the 14 still bunches up. And then again, it's heavy congested at the 118 further south. But we have no new crashes to report. CHP, the board is relatively clear. Southbound side of Sierra Highway, still a little bit heavy as you're coming into Golden Valley, but it gets better into Placerita. And that's traffic on your hometown station, KHTS. Little Eye Leaders is the newest preschool in the Santa Clarita Valley. At Little Eye Leaders, our outstanding teachers lead with intellect, perspective, and heart. That means our programs provide a warm, nurturing atmosphere to meet the unique needs of each child. We believe that play is a powerful form of learning for young children. 
That's why our kids have every opportunity to learn through the magic and excitement of play. Parents, schedule a tour today by calling 303-0400 or online at littleeyeleaders.org. Beautiful skincare with safer ingredients is now available in Santa Clarita. This is Dr. Pilecki. And Tony Pilecki. I've loved makeup since I was 12, but recently my hormones became a hot mess and I found out that makeup and fragrance can cause that. So now we welcome you to experience Beauty Counter, a healthy skincare and cosmetic choice delivered directly to your door. Call 753-9340 for more details. Get ready for some fun in the sun because summer has begun. Your hometown station has your way in to make a splash at Six Flags Hurricane Harbor. Now open daily for the 2019 season. With nearly 25 slides and water attractions, Six Flags Hurricane Harbor is the place to beat the heat. Keep listening for your chance to find your splash at Six Flags Hurricane Harbor for free. Not a winner? You can still get the coolest deals on tickets, season passes, and memberships at SixFlags.com today. It is 7.50 on this Friday. Good morning. It is Hometown Morning Show with Tori and Kyle and a special guest in the studio right now, Yesenia, who is a spiritual medium. And we have just had, uh, well, I don't know about her, but I'm having a very fascinating time with her because we're learning about uh, we're learning about the building today, our studio and what's to expect. Like I said, I'm usually the first one here <laughs> very early in the morning. Kyle follows me in a couple minutes later, but I've heard a couple of creaks and stuff. That really, you know, I say, oh, that must be a pipe or that must be something or other. And I just put it to the side. We've had some, you know, some other crazy uh, things happen here and there. And we just, you know, we tuck it away and whatever. But uh, it seems as though we I'm, I'm anxious to find out the history before you come back the next time to see kind of where this all uh, plays in favor. I'm going to ask for a favor. Yes. Sonia. So you're saying, you know, we've got we've got some Indians and their horses in in production studio, which is the first place I head into in the morning because I have stuff that I do before on, I get on the air. And Kyle and I head right in there. A okay. um, little bit of a favor. Last time you were here, you said my dad comes around a lot and and hangs it hangs around. Um, could you just ask him to hang around like in the early morning for me? He's already here. So oh, he's already he here. Always late. Okay. Yeah, I think when he was alive, he used to arrive at places late. Like he was a late, he was just late. He says, sorry, I'm late. Because he just walked in and was saying hi to me. And he's like, oh, I'm here. So I don't know if you noticed your computers had cracked a little bit in the last segment. Uh -huh. But that was him just saying, hey, I'm back. I'm here. I'm here. Like, I'm yeah, here. Good. Absolutely. Okay. Can you tell him not to be late anymore? Uh, I will tell him. <laughs> don't be late anymore. <laughs> don't, be, don't be late because, you know, now that we're finding out little things around here, you know, <laughs> It, you you need little, that extra security. You need a little, yeah. you get a little ghost bumps. Okay. So, uh, yeah, if he, if, if you don't mind, uh, if you don't mind dad, can you come in just, you know, when I'm here, come on in. Um, is, is there any other heavy, uh, or, or bright energy? You see, I'm not, I don't even know if I'm using the right words, but, um, any bright or heavy energy that you're feeling right now in studio a, which is our main studio, which is where we're on air all the time. Is there anything going on right now? I feel a lot of love in this area. You're very well protected here. Oh. A lot of white light in this area. So this is your little safe haven. Okay. Nothing bad on that side. Mm -hmm. I want you to think of it as just having clients hanging out. And okay. It's so not a bad thing. So when you come in, you know, when you see clients and you've never seen them before. Sure. You say, hey, guys, you know, just How you keep doing? it quiet today. Yeah, yeah. Don't scare me. And so, Chilly chill. Exactly. Will they listen to me? Yes, they will. I mean, because, you know, you kind of have this pow uh, power, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming, um, that maybe I don't have. I mean, you have I, the same power. I do. This is your home. Yes, absolutely. How do I tap into that? I mean, how did you tap into this? Just, just like I walked in, you welcomed me. So when you walk in, hey, guys, you know, make it a nice, pleasant morning. Remember, I'm alone. I don't want any noise. Don't make me feel weird or scared, and we're going to have a pleasant day. Yeah, because I usually have a good 10, 15 minutes before Kyle walks in. So I will remember that as I walk in. And you can always ask your dad, dad, just walk in with me. Mm -hmm. right? Mom, hey, are you right behind me? Because I feel like your mom protects you a lot. So she's like, you know, just walk in with me. Make me feel at home. So Studio A, we're feeling good stuff around Studio oh, yeah, A, which is the main studio here. Yes. Um, there's nothing really that's catching your eye that might be no weird no. or annoying. And here's good. Your dad's here. Your mom's walked in. She's just like kind of checking things out. She was a cleaner, wasn't she? Well, she... Uh, 
not not professionally, but she no, no, was yeah, a like, clean person. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. She comes in white. She's just like, oh, you need to kind of fix things, but it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> Especially that other room. I could see her going in there and kind of messing with that room saying, oh, my God, Tori. Yeah. Let's clean yeah. this up a little bit. It's interesting because at home, um, I, I'm always busy. So it's hard for me to always keep a clean house. But there are special um, spirits that will come by the night before and say, well, you know, before my daughter walks into the room, could you get some new chairs or can you kind of wipe down, you know, a little bit or make it smell different? So they'll tell me what they, exa- what, what they want, which is interesting because I do everything they ask me to do. So it's pretty cool because we share the space, even though it's my home. I also want them to feel comfortable, and I want them to know that it's okay for them to come in and, and be part of my family. How did you know you had this um, gift? How did you, like, when you first tapped into this, did it scare you? Did you, like, how, do you, how did you even know? Yeah, so you have to remember when I was seven when I started seeing spirits. It was right after my dad passed away, um, and he, he died tragically. Um, so him and I used to have long conversations in the closet. And I couldn't share it with anybody for many, many years. Did you feel that people just wouldn't believe you? Um, Or were they private thoughts in in conversations? It was both private conversations. Mm -hmm. I always asked him what what he was feeling and stuff like that. Um, Also just helping him or asking him to help me get through that tough period. Mm -hmm. Um, And with my siblings as well. So that was very difficult for for all of us. Um, But just... Learning to talk to spirits, he was my first one. I, well, my first one was around three or four years old where I felt this great-great-grandmother with me. And I could. she shows me exactly where I was. And it was like I was an adult and I was walking everywhere. Um, and, then, and then again at, at seven. So I've had it this whole time. It wasn't until I married my husband, Michael, that um, he says, do you, do you know what you have? You're a medium. I'm thinking, what, what is that? <laughs> and so he, I said, you mean I'm not crazy? And he says, no, you're not crazy. And, um, and that was right after my brother passed away. And I'm kind of embarrassed to share this. But we cremated my brother. My brother was 6'4". He weighed about three to 400 pounds, about 400 pounds. He was a big guy. Um, and when they cremated, the vase with his ashes was very small. And as I'm pouring him over into the ocean in San Pedro, I said, damn, Philip, I can't believe you fit in this thing. But I just spiritually was talking to him because that's how my brother and I would talk to each other. We were just, he was a fun guy. And so um, when Michael walked in, because my husband is also a medium, when he walked in to visit that day, he says, I don't know how to tell you this. He says, but your brother says he did fit in that thing. And I wanted to die. (laughs) I was so embarrassed. And that's when we started talking about my gift and his gift. And it was just like, wow. I said, test me. Test me to see if this is a gift or, or what talent or what is it that I have and can I help other people. And so that's what's happened the past 17 years. I would have, I don't know what I would have done if someone had said that to me. Um, and so you probably have these moments all the time. These are probably now second nature. To, they probably happen all the time and now you're getting used to it and um, it, it's not jarring anymore, you know, like that particular, right. uh, you know, incident with the ashes. It, right. it, it's just, you know, commonplace. It is so fascinating. Um, I cannot wait. I, I wish you were in here every single morning <laughs> because I have just so many questions about your life and about obviously about, you know, any spirits you see with me and, any energy that you see with me in the building. And, and so, uh, I'm happy to say you are coming back on Monday. Yes. yes. So, uh, and we, we want to talk about, I will, you know what? She, see, you sent a, I think you sent a, <laughs> Put, uh, brought in some gifts for me and I'm so excited. She brought in a beautiful heart, Rose Quartz heart, which I have in my pocket right now and uh, a beautiful t-shirt, which I'm going to wear Monday. Yay. I'm going to wear that Monday with the event on it. Now the event, the spiritual event, it's at the Hyatt Regency, June 23rd, 5 PM. It's an intimate event. Uh, please get your tickets at Eventbrite dot com and uh you know if you have any questions for yesenia feel free monday morning she's going to be back i believe 7 40 so if you have any questions you can facebook us you can call us or you can call her directly on monday let's get a quick look at tribe but thank you so much thank Sienna. you for having I'm me i'm so glad yesenia that you are coming back on monday beep, 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 beep. Go.
All right, a quick check of traffic, which things, like I said, have calmed down. Yay for us. No crashes to report. Southbound side of the 5, still a little congested as you're making your way past the 14, but the 14 is getting better. Southbound side, still have a little bit of a hiccup right at Golden Valley. KHTS, AM 1220, and 98.1 FM, Santa Clarita. It's 8 o'clock. Time for national news on KHTS.